You want to move Music One to another computer. Here's how to do it. First thing is to go to the blog, musicone.pro, and click on the Upgrades link. Here's the upgrade page as it looks at this moment. Could change in the future, of course. There will be a link on this page to get the version of Music One that you are using. Click your choice, fill in the little form. This tells us back at the office that you got the upgrade, and then you will jump to a page like this. To do an install on another computer, you need to get both the upgrade and the installer files. That's two files to download from this page. Click the word here, and click the other word here. The files will come into your downloads folder. In this one, I've got the installers and the upgrades for both versions, Music One Professional and Music One SE. On this new machine, you will first run your installer, and when that's finished, you click and run the upgrade, and click the little button at the top that says unzip. It will say three files unzipped, and you're done with this part. Music One is fully installed on the computer now. Then you move your library file and your logs folder into the Music One folder on this new computer. Go to File Manager, click on the C drive, and find your Music One folder. Yours will either be Music One or Music One SE. Open that folder and look inside. Music One library files all have the extension .m1, and most times this file has been renamed and it's got the station name on it. The logs folder contains the past schedules for the station. If you have more than one license, there will be a specific log folder for each of your stations. Remember, the log folder is for Music One's own logs. The playlist files for your automation system are separate things, different types of files, and they go into their own folder. Now, sometimes that folder is inside the Music One folder, as we see here, and sometimes Music One is told to write the playlist files somewhere else, on a drive, on the network, or maybe to a cloud server. You can see where the logs are going in System Settings on the General tab. There's a folder field for Logs. These are for M1's own internal log files. If you have two or more licenses and you run them from the one computer, then you'll have a station-specific name here for each of your stations. And under the Automation tab, there's an Automation Playlist folder. If you have only a name here, then there will be a folder of that name inside your M1 directory, and you'll be having your automation system look here to get the schedules. Or you may have M1 send the playlist files to some specific folder on your network or maybe to a cloud folder. Double click in this field and the screen appears named Locate Automation Log Folder. You can then negotiate through your system and select the place where the playout system will be looking to find the daily schedules. All this done and you're ready to go.